Hey ladies, so it's Mickey. It is Tuesday the 4th and I wanted to do a quick video on um, my, what is it? I think it's fourth week. Yeah, my fourth week of postpartum. Um, so yeah, today I weighed myself and I'll post a video. I can do split screen on um, the iPhone app uh, iMovie. So I'll just post that next to me. Um, I started off the cycle that I conceived Sophia um, at 2.04. And as of this morning, I am, what was it, 182 point something? Excuse me? So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel pretty good. Um, bleeding has completely stopped stopped um, and the discharge has stopped as well. Um, I did get some bleeding after I got the IUD placed. Um, was it earlier this week? No, it was last week when I got it placed. So yeah, um, things have been going really, really great. Uh, the midwife said the stitches are all gone. Um, she was basically I guess she didn't realize how soon it had been since I've had Sophia and she was just like nothing about this appointment seems like a six week uh seems like a three week visit <laughs> so yeah um so it's been uh at that time it was three weeks and um it's just been great uh, <laughs> oh sorry I am sleepy um trying to get used to you know I've pulled all-nighters before in college and everything and in high school and it was never a problem but whenever you you know you go to sleep and then you wake up every two to three hours or even sooner than that um, you know you never seem like you get that I guess it's REM sleep so you never get into that really deep sleep because you by the time you're getting into it, you not you just like you have to wake up because somebody is hungry. <laughs> um, so yeah, no complaining. I don't mind it at all. You know, she's even though she might be kicking and screaming and crying or whatever at that point in time, she's still adorable. And you know, uh, when she does finally stop and she's calm and chill. Excuse me. Um, I, it's just, it's great. Cause she looks at me with those really big brown eyes and, you know, can't help to turn into mush when, when you look at her. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Basically, my body is back to how it was beforehand. Um, if you, I don't know if I'm going to post this video before after uh, my life update but I did get my IUD placed went ahead and went with the IUD versus birth control uh, just because I can't remember to take birth control so yeah um, oh, excuse me I also um, put in my resignation today at work so yeah so officially I am a stay-at-home mom and, um, you know, just got to wait to see if, um, if and when the diocese will, um, accept my resignation and let me go from my contract that I have with them. Because I am under contract, which is weird because I'm not getting paid while I'm not working anyway, so whatever. <laughs> um what else is going on as far as my body goes like I said it's pretty much back to normal or not normal but it's pretty back pretty much back to where it was <laughs> beforehand uh, jiggly and all um, I am uh, definitely lopsided uh, my right breast produces so much more milk than my left one and it it's huge, um, probably, um, 
I would say almost double the size of the left. My husband says he doesn't see it, but I certainly do. <laughs> I can definitely tell it, it does get a lot harder than the left one. Excuse me. I'm so sorry for yawning so much. So it's just really weird and really interesting how my body is just like doing this. But I am producing milk. Um, she's eating it all. Um, in the mornings, I do produce a lot more than in the afternoon or in the evening time. Um, in the mornings, I've been producing somewhere between two to three ounces. And then the rest of the day, it's about an ounce and a half when I do pump. So, yeah. Um, usually, if she eats from the right, she's content. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Um, but, yeah, like, it's it's producing a lot more milk than the left. The left, I'll produce maybe at the most an ounce. Um, it's usually in between half an ounce to an ounce. So, huge difference. Um, I am seeing a lactation consultant through the new parent um, support, uh, support program here at ACS, which is Army Community Services. Um, and she comes over once a week, asks me questions, you know, how am I doing and stuff, and we talk. And it's great. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't really have a lot to say about postpartum as far as me. <laughs> um, my skin does look bro broken out or whatever. Um, you can see the one, my chin pimple, my annual chin pimple, um, that I had before Sophia came in. But, um... You know, it's whatever. My hair is finally growing out. I had to cut my nails as well because they were just, they were scratching her. So those had to go. Um, I'm still taking my prenatal vitamins because I'm breastfeeding and I'm also on my full guard. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to take the fenugreek, I believe it's called, um, to help with milk supply. Um, but since I'm not going to be working, I don't know if I'm going to. So, um... Also, I'm just, I'm a little weary about taking it. Uh, I don't know what the side effects might be as far as Sophia goes. Um, if you have taken it before, please let me know what your experience was with it. Um, that's definitely something I will take into consideration. Um, but ultimately, just doing research and stuff is what's going to make my final decision. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I hope you are doing great. Um, hopefully my vlogs will become a lot more lively and not just me trying to keep my eyes open. <laughs> but I hope y'all have an awesome day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.